Hello and welcome to another SH Figure Arts review. This is Kamrata Agito version 2.0. Oh, this is the ones where they build the real skeletons, so sort of scaled down and build on top of that and make it super, super accurate from the show. Very nice box, same style as all the other ones in this series. Kamrata Agito metallic print on the side. SH Figure Arts on the top and bottom. On the back there, it shows you what you get inside the box. Basically, what you get inside the box, anyway. So, two tapes, circle tapes on each side to uh, tell you that's still sealed. Top tray, you got the figure, pull that out. Instruction sheet, and the bottom tray comes with the other parts. We. Quick look at instruction on one side, it just says um, Kamada Agito and the Japanese uh, legal stuff, important disclaimers. And on this side shows you what parts you have inside and how to swap things around. So, remove this from the bottom tray. It's quite tight but nothing flies out, that's good. And then we also remove this from the top tray. It falls off very easily. Apart from the fist hands already on his body for epic punching, he also has spray open flat hands that he uses for, you know, henshining and also changing uh, his other forms. He also has his rider kick hands, uh, which is pretty nice. That goes along with his extra head that has the horns popping out for his rider kick. And finally, he also has two sort of kind of closed, kind of open hands. Not quite close enough to hold items for the most part, but not quite open really. Not sure what they're for, but they're definitely good. And I like to have extra hands in my SH Figuarts to do you know, more kinds of different posing. In terms of articulation, just like Cougar, uh, compared to his previous version, uh, there would be some slight restrictions, but um, in order to get the look completely right, double uh, bob, bob peg on the top and the bottom of the neck, so you can look up, down, sideways, sideways, and a full rotation very nicely. Shoulder pads here are attached to the uh, upper arm, so they sort of just slide down. There's a little ball peg to allow them to rotate a little bit. There's an extra ball inside these torso, so you've got a lot of rotating there. Uh, rotating joint here, full 360, and a swiveling and uh, rotating joint here. Double elbow joint, no more cutting away at the... Uh, Gauntlets, just like the old version of Agito and Kuga, rotating joint here, peg and swivel joint for the hands. This joint up here and the bottom, so lots of rotation. The belt is separate, which is really great. So eventually, when we have decayed, we can swap belts with them. And um, leg can go up, down, up, back, quite a fair amount back. Rotating here, not too much rotating, that's as much as it will go. Double a knee joint, uh, leg, foot goes up, down, sideways, sideways, and toe goes up. Quite tight, I've actually already rotated, rotated this before, but it's still quite tight, and actually go down a little bit, tippy toes. And at the bottom of Agito, there's the standard Agito uh, boot. The old Argito was kind of a joke in the SH figure line for its lack of accessories. Apart from the fist hands already on the figure in the box, he also comes with an extra face mask. You know, we remove the front of the face, swap it on for the rather kick version, which I have no problem with compared to the new Argito where you swap an entire head. That's totally fine. But uh, the only other accessory is two extra hands that are sort of like in this sort of kind of relaxed, kind of grippy pose. It's like we have relaxed hands and the uh, sort of rider kick po uh, hands in, in all in one and the henshin hands all in one so we get the fingers in the position where it's sort of in the middle of all three different hands that we should have put in the box combine it into one hand making the hand look not really like any of the poses that he should be doing and call it the day that was pretty much very stupid and disgusting I know Agito's ground form, you know, his normal form, just like Kuga Mighty form doesn't really come with anything, but Kuga came with a lot of hands. He did not. So that was an insult to bias and a joke because Kuga came before him, had more hands, and they were just like, oh, Agito, yeah, whatever. Comparing the new to the old Agito, the new one is a lot taller. Obviously, his proportions are much more accurate to both human f bodies and the suit itself. Not only that, both of them have hard colored 
Both of them have hard horns, unlike the old version of uh, Cougar, but he has sort of like a slightly soft horn. Uh, you see on the old Agito, his eyes are starting to fade red right there, but the good news is I can just take that mask off and repaint the inside just a little bit. The rest of the body, all the shapes and coloring have all been altered. The ones that have been altered the most is the uh, chest area. You can see there's actually a transparent gem there. You can see the inside. It's a little pattern molded in there, which is really nice. The old version only has black. Uh, the belt as well, you can see three cyclones all on each side, so that's good. And on the side of the belt, we also have uh, more transparency right there. Whereas the old one is just a solid uh, metallic paint. The matte colouring of the entire plastic is also much nicer than the other one where it's really shiny and stuff because if you think about the actual suit it's not shiny at all so the other one looks much more toyish and the new one looks much more like an actual model, an actual suit. The only upside the old one has is the die cast feet that the new SH figures don't do anymore but of course that makes the feet also extra shiny and as far as I'm concerned the new one doesn't really have that much of a problem posing and standing you know compared to other figures so uh, die cast feet or not he can still stand pretty well. This new version of SH Figures Agito is a huge, huge improvement in both aesthetic and accessory count. Yes, sure, Agito doesn't have that many accessories to go around with and he doesn't need it, but this one at least has all the hands that should have come with him in the first place. Uh, I wouldn't be, you know, annoyed if they... Um it would be nice if they had some sort of special effects part in there, but hey, this figure is still very nicely designed. The other advantage that the old one might have is that it's a lot easier to pose him, his joints move a lot more smoothly with less restriction because of the shape of the body and the way it was designed. The old figure was made back in 2009 when SH Figure was first starting off, so in terms of figure design, it wasn't a bad figure for its time. SH Figure was still sort of learning the ropes, getting its grip on what its identity was, and this figure isn't bad at all. However, as times go on, it hasn't aged well, and then just like Black and Cougar, the new versions are much nicer in terms of both perspective, paint, you know, technically, and you know, visually, it looks so much better. But the new ones do come with a bit of a strict restriction about being a more complicated toy it means you've got to be a lot more careful with it, and you know, there's a lot more parts in it, a lot more joints. So yeah, the old one you can be a bit more careless with it and it should be okay. These ones you really have to take care. And while the old ones are more similar to actual action figures that you might let kids play with, the new ones not so much. One more final detail compared to the old one is that the old torso stomach area actually has a bit of a sort of six pack molded in there even though it uh, doesn't really show or need it. So yeah, the new one definitely it doesn't need that. All in all, I do really like the SSH figures, and they hope at some point they um, produce a newer version of Agito's bike, which is a bit more accurate to scale, and also will fit this figure much better. I've seen photos online where it doesn't quite sit too well on the bike itself. If you like Kamarada Agito, definitely check out this figure. Uh, it's not going for any crazy price, it's pretty much just standard SH figures on slightly higher end, but it's not really expensive, so if you like Agito, definitely check this figure out. If you've enjoyed this video and want to take a look at other SH figures I've revealed of Kamen Rider, I've revealed a lot of them, like hundreds of them, so check out this channel for that. If you like this video, then click the like, subscribe button. If you haven't done so already, maybe leave a comment below on what figure you're most excited for in the future, what figure you're still trying to find and find, and maybe just say what you think of this figure. If you want to support this channel even further, by all means check out the Patreon link in the video right now, or the video description below. If you want to check out the box art, photos, shoots of the figure, as well as the instruction manual, feel free to head over to the Facebook or Flickr link in the video description below. Most importantly, at the end of the day, take care and have a nice day. Goodbye, see you soon.